There are 10 daily silent things destroying your hair, and I wish someone shouted these at me in my 20s. Most people think hair loss is genetics, but that only explains about 20% of what we see in clinic. Here's the twist, the other 80% are totally preventable, and the damage starts years before you see a single hair on your pillow. If you don't fix these nails, your follicles will age, your density drops, your regrowth slows permanently. I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan, one of the only medically qualified doctors who's all also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. I'm also a published author with HarperCollins, and today I'm giving you the science-backed steps that will save you years of frustration. Stay with me because number seven, even some professionals forget to check. Number one, microinflammation shrinks the follicle. This is the silent killer. The number one reason hair thins isn't genetics, it's inflammation so small you can't even feel it. You can't see it or detect it, but it squeezes uses your follicles like a tightening fist. The mechanism PubMed causes perifollicular inflammatory dysregulation. Here's the science. Inflammation leads to collagen around the follicle becoming stiff. The follicle diameter shrinks and the hair grows out thinner. Eventually, it leads to something called miniaturization. It's not dramatic. It's a slow decay and it begins in your 20s. The solution is to remove irritants and protect the scalp barrier. People often forget that the skin on the head is just a continuation on the skin on the face. We really look after the skin on our face and totally forget the ingredients that our scalp requires. So at least start off with removing the irritants, things like fragrance, essential oils, and harsh surfactants. I want you to go away right now and have a look at your shampoo. If your shampoo smells like a strawberry or minty or any type of food, it contains something called fragrance. So it might be perfume. The other words you might look for would be limonene, giraffe, perennial, humarin, these are all irritants, but they smell good. So it gives you a lovely sensorial experience, but it's very bad for the barrier on the scalp. So this can be a little bit boring, but you actually want fragrance-free shampoos. They don't smell amazing, but they are so good for the scalp. The fragrance-free shampoos that I recommend are these. So starting off with my favorite is of course the one that I made for you. This is the Dr. V Hair Thickening Shampoo. It's fragrance-free, but I also put in a couple of other things. I put in peptides, and niacinamide that will help to increase blood flow to the actual follicle itself to help with hair growth. It's also very gentle. So the surfactant itself is very gentle and it helps to reduce inflammation because I put anti-inflammatories in here too. So it supports density, but it's also barrier safe. The next shampoo I really like is Vanny Cream Gentle Shampoo. If you want to go with something that's cheaper, that's non-irritating to the scalp, that's going to protect the scalp barrier, go with this product. It doesn't contain any other actives for hair growth but I really like it. The next is CeraVe Hydrating Shampoo. Again, it's fragrance-free. It contains ceramides, not much else for hair growth, but it's affordable, it's in your drugstore, and it's one that's fragrance-free, one of the very few that are fragrance-free. And the last one I like is a Eucerin Dermo Capella Scalp Soothing Shampoo. Again, a lovely fragrance-free formula. If you have particularly inflamed scalps, you might want to go with an anti-inflammatory support, something like La Roche-Posay Carium DS, fragrance-free. And the other one I like is Eucerin Scalp Soothing soothing fluid. So those are if you have a particularly irritated scalp. But inflammation is nothing compared to what I'm about to show you. Your own scalp oil becomes toxic when one thing happens. Let's talk about oxidized sebum choking your follicles. You see, sebum isn't the enemy. Oxidized sebum is, and it's one of the biggest causes of early thinning. The mechanism of action is sebum mixes with UV plus pollution. This turns into squalene peroxide. Squalene peroxide is sticky, thick, and poor clogging. It blocks the follicle opening, it feeds malassezia, it triggers inflammation, and it accelerates shedding. This is the oil plug you see in miniaturization, and it tends to be worse if you live in a city that's highly polluted. The solution is gentle cleansing, antioxidants are key because of the oxidative stress on the scalp, and of course, fragrance-free formulas. So some of the products that I love are Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid, which is fragrance-free, you can use this once a week to unclog the follicular openings. The next product I like is from The Ordinary 5% Pycnogenel, which is a fragrance-free formula and is diluted into a carrier. Again, you can use that a couple of times a week. When it comes to cleansing, you can use one of the shampoos that we've already discussed. So I'll leave those here for you. If, however, you have a thicker layer of 
crusty dead skin cells that's leading to flaking, those white flakes on dark clothes. It means that you need something stronger. You need lactic acid plus salicylic acid plus gluconolactone. And I combine these for you in our scalp rebalancing exfoliator. You can use this with protective braids in too, leave it in and then wash it out. It's going to help with any product buildup as well. Some other little treats I added in here as well would be a rosemary extract plus peptides and ceramides. Ceramides are really important for skin color. Don't forget we have less ceramides in our skin already. That's what leads to duller, drier skin quicker in the skin of color. And so our scalp is just skin that's the same as our face. And actually we need the same ceramides on our scalp that we have on our face. So if you need to improve the scalp barrier, you're getting an itchy, flaky scalp, you are gonna love this formula. You get fantastic results after just one try. So think of oxidized sebum as a burnt cooking oil on a pan. You need gentle, lifting, not scraping. So avoid any harsh scrubs. But even if you fix oxidized oil, your hair is breaking in a place you would never think about. We don't talk about this enough, but water fatigue is the real breakage problem. Your hair is breaking inside the shower, not outside of it. Every time your hair absorbs water, the cortex swells like a sponge and causes micro fractures. This is called water fatigue. The solution is a pre-wash oil, not something metagenic, not castor oil that's going to clog the pores further. You need a light, scalp-safe, fragrance-free oils that prevents the water from overswelling the strand. So the products I like are the Ordinary Squalene, which is fragrance-free. I like Kalahari Melon Seed Oil as well, which is unscented. And I like Fractionated MCT Oil. Again, it's fragrance-free. Apply this for about 10 minutes before your wash. Think of your hair like a rope. When it's wet, the fibers swell and the rope becomes weaker. But even if you protect the fiber, the root itself begins weakening after about 25 years old. And almost no one talks about this. Quick pause. I checked my analytics today and 87% of those who watch every single week haven't subscribed. And that means that you don't get free access to me. Because you see, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every YouTube video. So when you subscribe and hit that bell, you know that I'm here. It means you can come and ask me your skincare and your hair care questions. Plus, it means you get to join our beautiful YouTube community. That means you get to talk to each other, you get to upload your photos and ask each other questions. So if you haven't subscribed or maybe you think you subscribed, double check. And if you haven't, do it now. Mitochondrial decline leads to slower growth. That's the battery pack of the hair itself. Your hair doesn't thin because you age. It thins because the tiny mitochondria inside your follicles age. This is a mechanism of action. You have less ATP, slower anagen, that's the growth phase, weaker hair strands, and then earlier shedding. So what you want to use are mitochondrial activators, things like caffeine, niacinamide, and peptides. So some of the products I love are the Ordinary Caffeine at 5%. The Inky List does a caffeine stimulating treatment as well. Vani Cream Conditioner, to buffer actives for sensitive scalps can be quite helpful. If you're using Anagen Boost, you've already got these ingredients on the scalp. So you've got your niacinamide, you've got your peptides. I've also put in anti-inflammatories in here to help to soothe the scalp. I've also put in Capixel, which helps to moderate your DHT. If you want a whole video on how to microneedle your scalp with a growth tonic like Anagen Boost, write the word yes below and I will make a demo video for you. But even perfect mitochondria can't protect you from the hormone quietly shrinking follicles right now. You know what I'm about to say, DHT. Don't fear it, you want to modulate it. See, DHT isn't the villain. Unbalanced DHT is. So the mechanism of action is that DHT binds to the follicle receptor and shortens the anagen phase, the growth phase. This then leads to thinner hair. This is what you're gonna see with time. But here's a twist. You can modulate the receptor environment. You can't eliminate DHT, but you can reduce its impact on the follicle root. So here some of the PubMed backed DHT modulators. Red clover extract, acetyl tetrapeptide, scutellaria root, and niacinamide. And I actually put them together in the fragrance-free formula of your Anagen Boost tonic. So let me run through these key ingredients and you don't have to get the Anagen Boost. You might find another one, which is absolutely fine, just so you understand how the mechanism of action is. Red clover is a DHT modulator. Acetyl tetrapeptide 3 is your collagen 
anchoring. Scutellaria root is your anti-inflammatory, which helps with regrowth. Niacinamide improves the diameter and improves circulation too. And then you've got arginine plus calcium gluconate. This is for hydration and for fullness. Again, it's not about my brand. It's about the mechanism of action and ensuring that you're using the right ingredients on the scalp. But DHT is nothing compared to the daily habits pulling your hair out before it's even had a chance. Next we're about to talk about is mechanical extraction. That's real hair loss. See, most hair loss isn't loss, it's extraction. You're pulling hair out early through friction you don't even notice. Some of the key culprits are rough towels, combing wet hair is a disaster, tight ponytails, please avoid it. I know it's aesthetically beautiful, but it's so bad for the follicle. Then it's the scented leave-ins that irritate the scalp. So some of the solutions, of course, fragrance-free, would be Vanny Cream Conditioner for slip. I also like Avida Sap Moss Leave-In fragrance-free. As a bit of a twist, I really like the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser as a detangler. But even if you fix mechanical damage, your shampoo pH might still be unraveling your cuticle. We do not talk about this enough, and that's how the pH changes depending on what you put on the hair. But this can weaken the hair cuticle. The pH of your shampoo determines whether the cuticle lies flat or frays open like a broken zipper. See, a high pH is a disaster. So the products that I love that I've already talked about are here and these are the ones you want to go for from a pH perspective as well. The next one you're really not going to like if you're coming from a city. Even if you balance the pH, it's not going to be enough to tackle the pollution. Pollution ages the hair faster than even UV. Pollution particles are so tiny they lodge in your follicle and accelerate hair aging 50% faster than UV alone. So what we want to be doing and we want to be doing religiously is using antioxidants on the scalp. You want film formers and you want hydration. You want to create a healing environment on the scalp. So some of the products I like that are fragrance-free is, for example, the Ordinary EGCG. I also like Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex, which is fragrance-free. And I also like Biosense Squalene. But antioxidants don't matter if you're destroying your fiber with the most misunderstood ingredient category. Protein imbalance causes snapping. People don't have damaged hair, they have unbalanced hair. These are some of my favorite options. So I like I like the Shea Moisture Fragrance-Free Protein Powder Treatment. I like the Brioga Be Gentle Be Kind Fragrance-Free. And I like Aussie Calm The Frizz. You just want to use this every three to six weeks. This is not something you use every day. If you use too much protein on the hair, it can also lead to brittleness. And here's the most ignored truth of all, the one almost never discussed. Follicular fibrosis is reversible early. Follicles don't die immediately. They get trapped inside stiff collagen. This is early fibrosis and you can reverse it. The mechanism is inflammation leads to stiff collagen, which leads to follicles being strangled and then thinner hair. You need a cocktail of peptides, anti-inflammatories, hydration, barrier repair, and scalp circulation. Some of the fragrance-free tools you can use would be, for example, the Dr. V Anagen Boost with your peptides, your red clover, and your scutellaria. You can go in with your Vanny Cream Shampoo, and you can also go in with your fragrance-free rosemary extract if you're not already using our scalp exfoliator. With the scalp exfoliator, it's great if you have an itchy, flaky scalp, because don't forget, if you have an unhealthy barrier, Barrier, you can't grow healthy hair. And as we get older, our skin cells turn over slower. So we tend to get more dandruff with age. So what you want to do is go in with lactic acid, gluconolactone plus salicylic acid. Ideally, you also want to go in with rosemary extract and your anti-inflammatories plus your peptides and ceramides. This formula didn't exist and it's the reason that I've made it for you. If you want to have a quick look, here's the before and after, after just one session. So here is my fragrance-free routine for hair growth. So pause this video and screenshot this. If you do want me to make a video on how to microneedle the scalp with a water-based tonic like our Anagen Boost, can you write the word yes below and I'll make it for you. Otherwise, head over and watch my next video.